today's video is kind of controversial. I've got a lot of input from people I know and people who send me notes um, on my videos and people in the Corvette community of which I'm very active. Um, and I get a lot of feedback about people that um, have some mixed feelings about the new Z06. So I thought I'd compile 10 reasons why maybe you shouldn't buy a 2023 Z06 Corvette. Because I've got a lot of uh, people asking me questions about it, a lot of people asking about the price, which is probably the biggest stick in the mud, is the price. So I'm going to list 10 things. And by the way, a couple things. Um, if you like the videos, uh, please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. That helps a lot too. If you see something that I miss, then comment about it and tell me what item I might have missed in the comments below. So um, if I leave out something and you think about it, add to it down here and we'll have a little discussion going back and forth about the new Z06. There's a, there's a lot of controversy following this car and it seems to be getting larger. Reason number one why maybe not to buy a Z06 Corvette. Reason number one is the big reason, price. What happened to the price? I did the math when they told us about, you know, taking the C7 base and the C7 Z06, get that price difference, add it to a base C8 and you'd get basically the price of the C8 Z06. And I did all that and I came up with around $88,000, $89,000. All of a sudden, I'm looking at a hundred six plus uh, there's some add-ons there too, which we'll talk about later, but 106 at least. And then because the price increases, you're gonna pay obviously a bigger sales tax too. So instead of paying, I don't know, $80,000, uh, you're paying 120,000 or $160,000 and there's a sales tax for most of us in most states, uh, and my particular state is 7%. Well, geez, that's, you know, all of a sudden my sales tax bill is getting larger and larger and larger. Uh, and and this, this isn't working out. So uh, the price is the problem. The 1LZ is $106,000. The 2LZ is $115,000. There's a gas guzzler price, which we'll talk about later. That needs to be figured in. And of course, you've, since you're buying a car that costs more money, you're going to pay more sales tax too. So the price of this car is not just the price of the car. It has to do with the gas guzzler tax. By the way, on my 2020 Corvette right here, there's no gas guzzler tax. But there's going to be one on the new Z06. So these things all add up to a big, much bigger price. And I think that's the number one reason that might... Um, make people gun shy going into this Corvette. Okay, the rest are um, in no particular order. Looks on the outside. How much different does the C8 Corvette look compared to the C8 Z06? Oh, the back end is a little bit wider. Uh, maybe about that much, I guess. Um, what else? Um, there's probably a couple of little things here and there, but you know something coming down the street from 100 yards? I think they're going to look pretty much the same. The only giveaway might be if you get the big wing. That's going to be a giveaway. And if, by the way, if you get the big wing, your gas guzzler tax is going to go up too, I believe. Number three is the interior. <laughs> it doesn't look that much different. Pretty much the same. Yeah, you can get some uh, blackout areas down there and you can get some more carbon flash, which is ridiculously expensive. But it's pretty much the same interior, pretty much the same dash, pretty much the same display screen, pretty much a similar steering wheel. It's pretty much the same car. Other options are very similar, uh, except for the engine, obviously the flat paint crank engine. Uh, and the big wing that's on the back, and also the carbon ceramic brakes. I don't have carbon ceramic brakes, but I'm going to tell you right away, these stock brakes are terrific. They brake very, very well. 
and I would have no reason keeping these brakes on the Z06. Number five is the GGT, the GGT gas guzzler tax. Preliminary numbers are out $2,600 for the regular coupe convertible. If you got the big wang on the back, that big thing on the back, um, it creates more downforce but more drag too so if you do that uh, it goes to three thousand dollars I believe that's preliminary numbers right now but twenty six to three hundred twenty six to three thousand dollars where did that come from we never had that I never had that before so now we got it number six number six is we don't have any track time data nothing about the car it came up first and said it was 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Now it's up to 2.6 seconds. What's with that? Randy Probst, where are you? I want to see him and his review of this car. I want to see some people on track testing this car. I want to see the Nürburgring times. Where are those? I, it's none of that. So it's kind of like you're buying a car, but you really don't know what you're getting till you get it. Number seven, will the flat plane crank engine be just another vibrating, oil guzzling disappointment or not? I'm hearing they've tested it really well. It should be fine, should be great. I know a friend of mine that has a Mustang with a flat plane crank engine in it, and he says he puts a quart of oil in that engine every 500 miles. What are we getting into here? We don't know. Still no testing, no any, I just, we, we need more information, very little information about a car. Number eight, allocations. How are they doing the allocations? Oh, you get percentage of what you sold. No, 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 time out. They're changing it, they're changing it. From what I'm told, it's how many three LTs you sold of 20, 20, 21, 2022, 20, 2023, I think maybe. How many of those you sold, that's how they're gonna base the allocations to the dealers. So a smaller deal is probably gonna get, you know, the shaft. But, and there's a lot of guys gonna be very, very disappointed. And I don't know why they're doing that. It makes no sense, but you know, things today don't make much sense anymore, do they? They really don't. <laughs> and GM are just following line, going crazy stuff that and you look at it and you go, why the hell are they doing that? Who knows? And here's number nine. Why? My head's going to explode, I think. Watch out. <laughs> why is GM letting dealers sell cars way over MSRP. They have the big stick. Hey, if you sell cars over MSRP, we're going to take away some of your allocations. That sounds fair. If you're going to screw the customer, we're going to screw you. You're in charge. Jim's a big dog. Maybe take away the dealership. But don't let them get away with it. That doesn't make sense. Then you do a goofy 3LT. How many 3LTs did you sell? We'll give you one or two. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Totally crazy. Very disappointing. Suppose you buy a brand new Z06. You got lucky. Get an allocation. Buy it. All of a sudden, you get sick or somebody gets sick in your household. You got to sell the car. You can't sell the car because GM says you have to hold the car for a year before you can sell it. Otherwise, the warranty is no good when you sell it. Who's going to buy the car with no warranty? Kyle, let's say six months old. You can't sell it because it has no warranty going forward. I don't know. Is that legal? How come they're letting them sell cars at the dealership for 50000 over and upwards? I hear all kinds of crazy numbers. How come they can do that? That's okay, I guess. I don't know. Something to think about. Thanks for watching. So that's my 10. There's probably more. If you can think of something that I missed,
post it down in the comments below. Love to hear your comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like. And definitely, if you thought of something else that I left out that I should have included, post it down below. And we'll be glad to have you uh, on board with your comments, too. Thanks a lot. Hope you liked the video. Um, I'll have another one coming out that might be 10 reasons why you should buy a new Z06. Stay tuned.